This is Tim Albright with Aviation with Aviation Special, taking a look at Shore and the Shore. Next to with me is Aaron Neiman from Sure. Welcome, sir. Thanks, Tim. I'm excited to be here. Excited to have you. Uh, if you're watching, if you're not watching the video, uh, Aaron has a couple of the products we're going to talk about here, and, and I'll have him describe them. Uh, but first and foremost, um, Aaron, uh, when, when Sure designed the MXW Next Twos. Really quickly, it's a wireless system, wireless mic um, with a base station. You can kind of mix and match the type of transmitters, and I'll let you talk about that for a second. Um, but what was the problem you guys were addressing when you when you developed the next two? Yeah, great question. Um, these days, just about every meeting or class or training session, uh, it includes a mix of local and remote participants. Uh, I think we all uh, are, are experiencing that and have for the past several years, of course. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, whether it's uh, just an in-room presentation or an, a hybrid event, we got to deliver flawless audio uh, for all of those people participating in that meeting. Um, and honestly, uh, Next2 is, uh, is the answer to that. Uh, it's a simple solution. And we're finding that it has become, uh, quickly becoming the hub, really, for all of your audio needs in a hybrid classroom setting. Aaron, before we get moving here, you, you've got three different types of, of transmitters, right? Th uh, three different types of, of audio receivers, I guess is the best way to put that. Yes. Walk me through the three different types on the MXW uh, Next 2 and, and what each of them does. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have three different uh, transmitters. Uh, my handheld my body pack and my boundary. Um, the handheld microphone, the battery life on it is next to none. It's, it's incredible. I have a 24 hour battery charge. 24 hours of use or 24 hours off the charger? 24 hours of use, Okay. which, which is crazy, yeah, right? Is crazy. Um, and so that, that's, we, and again, when we when we came uh, to uh, to the drawing board, one of the biggest things with this in mind for a higher ed device is instructors will not put them back on the on the charging nope. bay. It'll just be laying there, and nope. half the time they won't even turn it off, right? Nope. And so you got to be able to walk into that room and it still work. And and the crazy part about this is. Uh, the handheld, like I said, the handheld is 24 hours, and yeah. then the body pack and the and the boundary are actually um, 17 hours. The uh, the neat part about I, I want to talk just for a second about the uh, the body pack uh, transmitter. This uh, this device can be used without a lav. You're listening to me today on the body pack with a uh, WL-185 lav. So, okay. uh, so it's one of our most popular lavs that's plugged in via TQ4G. Um, however, in higher ed, oftentimes I need to be able to just walk in and either just clip this right onto my, my uh, uh, jacket, or uh, the other thing is, is it, it comes with a, uh, a lanyard. So I can drop this right on and hang it, and the built-in omnidirectional microphone will provide Pristine, crystal clear audio to my far end participants. Now, one last bit is this is actually a transceiver, not just a transmitter. On the bottom, we have a USB C port that functions, it has two functions. We have, uh, so it, it does, it, it serves to, to sit on the charging base and charge my, my uh, transceiver, but with our uh, USB C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. I can actually plug now a set of earphones in and get some additional audio assistance. So some professors may have uh, or struggle with hearing the foreign participants. So this now gives them assurance and we don't get as many repeated questions in the classroom. So that's, a, that's something very exciting about the, uh, the next two body pack. So walk me through that for a second. I, I mentioned the fact that, that it's, a, it's a wireless system. You've got different types of transmitters. What are the different configurations of, of, the, of the, uh, the MXW Next 2? Yeah, so at the very basic uh, basis of MXW Next 2, it, it is a wireless microphone system. But uh, again, it's, it's really the next step in, in audio for, for uh, hybrid events. So it's really four components in one. It, it's, so again, it's a state-of-the-art wireless microphone system. 
It's also a smart charging station, so my transmitters uh, will drop right back into the dedicated uh, uh, charging ports, and it tells me how much time I have left to a full charge. It's also an advanced DSP, as well as a fully equipped uh, audio interface with, with analog, Dante, and USB-C interfaces that make it uh, simple to connect to either a computer, a sound system, or even a, a video conferencing codec. Oh, very cool. You, you guys make a, a, um, a fair amount of deal about the, the, the MXW Next 2 being, quote unquote, a hub. W what does that mean? So with its host of um, uh, DSP, uh, which we can talk about a little bit more in detail in just a second. Um, so with my host of DSP and audio IO, um, I can bring in multiple audio sources, not just my wireless transmitters that I've got. Um, I, can, I can expand on the two channels of wireless while using my analog input. So if I want to uh, pull in a, a, a wired handheld microphone or maybe a podium microphone that's sitting uh, on a podium uh, and it's hardwired, I can bring that into the, the next two yeah. um, uh, base station uh, APT uh, or access point transceiver. And then, um, and then I also have uh, two analog outputs which allow me to do a couple of different things. I can use one of those outputs to go to a, uh, a traditional uh, video conferencing codec, an analog codec, and then send another one of those an uh, analog outputs to a sound reinforcement system, so to, to either a mixer or an amplifier for my in-room loudspeakers. And then I also have my uh, USB-C port, which allows me to get into uh, a Zoom or a Teams meeting really easily so we have two Dante inputs as well as three Dante outputs. So with this host of DSP, mixing capabilities, and my, my fairly robust uh, audio I.O., um, as well as my, my two channels of wireless, we can see how the next two really is and has become the hub for all my audio needs in, uh, in a classroom. Very cool. You, you, you mentioned the, the DSP a couple of times. Talk about that for a second. This is, you know, it sure is not uh, fam unfamiliar with DSP, um, obviously having Intellimix for quite a number of years, but, but talk about the MXW Next 2's DSP capabilities. Yeah, so Intellimix, at the very core of what it is, it's, it's, it's a high-quality digital signal processing platform that provides best-in-class automatic mic mixing, noise reduction, automatic gain control, acoustic echo cancellation for your conferencing uh, needs, and, and signal routing. Now, the beauty of Intellimix is uh, Shure's uh, ability to uh, implement this on our whole host of MXA products, for example, um, as well as our MXW products, um, we, we have a, an enormous amount of flexibility with respect to how we're processing our audio and sending it to uh, whether it's a, a loudspeaker or a conferencing codec. Intellimix provides us with uh, a superior set of tools that is very hands-off. Now, we can get very refined with it, just like any DSP platform, yeah. but the beauty of Intellimix is the automatic mic mixer is just off the charts incredible. Um, the ability to simply switch how much noise reduction I have. All of the buttons and knobs in Intellimix are super intuitive to just about anybody. And, uh, and the fact that we can actually implement Intellimix uh, on, on all of our MXA products uh, built into those products, it ensures that those devices sound uh, incredible and deliver pristine audio just about every time. So Intellimix uh, really is the, uh, the next step in, in high quality digital signal processing. You mentioned video conferencing a couple of times, Aaron. Uh, this product is, is both Teams and Zoom certified. So, so first of all, why is that important? Let, let's start with that. Why is getting certified for Teams specifically and Zoom specifically 
so important to Sure and so important to the end user? Both Teams and Zoom certification um, were a part of, at the, and at the very forefront, uh, a driving factor in designing MXW Next 2. Okay. Uh, these certifications ultimately provide the end user, the person using it, the confidence that when you plug it in, you know it's going to work because of the requirements in these certifications that Zoom and Teams puts on us as a developer that when you plug it in, it has to work. Uh, there can't be any any guesswork. There can't be any you know t troubleshooting or any of that. So that certification provides that next level of just assurance that when you plug this device in, you know it's going to work with the platform that you're using. That's the beauty of this. So with the USB-C interface, it it allows you to simply connect your computer to Next Two. Uh, it shows up as an audio interface. Um, it shows up as your, I'm sorry, as your USB audio device in your drop-down menu in Zoom. And then the other piece is, is that along with delivering the superior audio that we know we're going to get, uh, you also have the confidence as part of the certification, we need to be able to visually see whether that microphone is on or off or muted or unmuted. And so what's really kind of nice is with uh, Mute Sync, the second that I mute my handheld or my body pack or one of or, or the boundary microphone, which is one of the three transmitters that uh, are available for MXW Next Two, the second I hit mute there, I get a visual indication that my microphone is actually muted. That mute passes through into Zoom or Teams, and I visually get an indication that it's muted there. So, um, mute sync is a is a very important piece of confidence building. Uh, when you're in a meeting and you need to make sure that it's on or it's off, just as important off. And sometimes we don't want to s deliver <laughs> information to the far end that no. shouldn't, they shouldn't receive. So Mute Sync is another piece of that certification that, uh, that is important. Well, really quickly, because I'm, and I'm not going to ask you for the ones and zeros and the, and the code behind this, but, but how does that work exactly? Is that part of the, the certification process where, you know, sure engineers are like, you know what, this is important, so we work with Zoom or Teams to make sure that those two pieces, in this case the, the, the MXA, um, the, the MXW Next 2, and the Zoom software, they talk to each other. Is that kind of where, where I'm getting? That's exactly correct, yeah. So the, the HID command, uh, that, that code is embedded uh, into our device. We are provided the information from Zoom and Teams um, on, on what needs to happen. So when I do hit the mute button on my physical device, that it, it follows through into the, uh, the software uh, GUI platform. So we, we, we visually get a representation at both locations. Now, now, obviously, it also works in reverse. If I hit the mute button uh, or unmute the, the microphone in Teams or Zoom, it also unmutes my hardware, so I it, it unmutes. Cool. It. So it's not just a visual indication; it's physically muting and unmuting as well. So yeah. it works both ways. Very cool. Uh, again, if you're not watching the video, right behind um, Aaron is an MXA 902 device you guys uh, released this year. Uh, it is the um, a lot of us know the, the MXA line uh, of of mic arrays. This one has a built-in speaker, right? So talk, talk to me for a second about where, where that MXA902 fits into a Next2 system. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. I guess, let, yeah, let, if, we, if we can, let's just talk for just a second about what the MXA902 is. Um, the MXA902 is a PoE Plus Dante endpoint that is a microphone array in a 2x2 two two ceiling tile, uh, but also contains a loudspeaker. Okay. Um, so the beauty of that is it, it, being a kind of an all-in-one device, um, dropping that into a two-by-two two tile uh, allows me to pick up a 20-by-20-foot coverage area with the microphone. Um, so in that small to medium, you know, medium size, and even into sort of that, that medium-large space, um, where I, I just need a simple 
uh, chunk of coverage with my microphone uh, and some, uh, some basic sound reinforcement in the room where I need to just get audio back from the far side or far end uh, and maybe some in-room uh, in room content, you know, from a PowerPoint, for example. Yeah. Um, the MX, MXA902 allows us to do all of that in, in a single device. Now, where it comes into play with the MXW Next 2 actually is a really cool, cool combination. In those rooms where we would traditionally have multiple components for wireless microphone, we need in-room content coming back from a PC, and then we also need loudspeaker, typically a 70-volt tri- uh, distributed loudspeaker solution in the ceiling for that for that in-room uh, audio content or uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation content, and then far-end audio coming back to the, the local participants. That requires an amplifier and dedicated speakers, uh, a DSP, maybe a, even a mixer um, to achieve all of that. With the MXW Next 2 and MXA902, I can achieve all of that with two primary devices. Um, so in, in a room, uh, for example, uh, which, we have, uh, which we have a great uh, room example, uh, we can see that uh, we have a primary presenter, for example, and then we also maybe have uh, another uh, another uh, adjunct professor or or an assistant who's who's also presenting with that instructor at the same time, and then we have a classroom full of full of uh, students. Yeah. And um, you know how do we how do we achieve clear audio to be captured and sent to the far end, and then take that uh, and then at the same time, be able to hear our remote participants coming back. Um, the ability to do that in two simple devices does a lot of different things. Of course, it, it cleans up uh, how many devices are installed, so it cuts down on your labor and time. It cuts down on you know, potential device uh, you know, complications. Um, everything that comes into play with, with a, a, a complicated integrated room uh, becomes much more simple with a couple of uh, network cables and, and, and really just two primary devices, um, and then obviously a camera. Uh, so the MXA902 and Next2 uh, combination um, really provides a super slick solution to capture your in-room participant audio to send to your far room far-end participants. And not to forget, my 902 also provides some... So if, if needed, some voice lift or even light sound reinforcement for your, for your instructor. Yeah. Um, so that's the other piece to this. And that's where Intellimix really comes into play and, the, and, and harnessing the power of Intellimix, which is built into the MXA902. It's built into the MXA, uh, MXW Next 2 um, so that when I, the professor, am speaking on my handheld, and Telemix says, this is the device that I need to send audio to the uh, participants and to my loudspeakers. And when the professor or instructor is no longer speaking and a student asks a question, now the MXA902 picks that audio up and sends that out of the building or if you're capturing, recording, or whatever yeah. you may, may need. So that's, that's the, the beauty and, and, and really the simplicity of the two of the two of those together, and it's done all within uh, the MXA nine. I'm sorry, it's all done within the next two because I remember I've got Dante. I've got two Dante inputs on my uh, next two. Well, I, I, again, talk for a second about how that happens. Is it from from a, you know, I'm an IT director. I'm an AV manager at a college, and that situation you just talked about, where the the instructor is talking. And then somebody in the classroom raises their hand, and, they, and then they have a question. Now, obviously, the Intellimix is it's almost like auto-mixing. I, I don't know if that's the proper term here, but that, that's what we used to call it, is auto-mixing, uh, where it's choosing which, which channel to, to, to make live. What is the setup, and, and what does the operation look like? Or is it pretty much, you, once you set it inside Intellimix, it's just going to do it? 
There's a couple of pieces that uh, are at play, of course. Um, the MXA902 is going to uh, employ Intellimix, where I've got my echo cancellation, uh, my AEC, um, and noise reduction, and all of that stuff is built into the microphone and loudspeaker uh, ceiling array unit. And that is sent out via the what is called the auto mix output in Intellimix. So it's taking all this information and spitting that information out, the auto mix output. Then that information gets sent via Dante uh, to uh, your switch, uh, your PoE plus switch. As I said, we need a PoE plus switch involved. So that information gets delivered uh, via Dante back to the MX, uh, MXW Next 2. The MXW Next 2 is ingesting the Dante uh, stream into its dedicated Dante input. And the Intellimix uh, uh, DSP in Next 2 is then marrying what's going on with my wireless uh, channels into the Dante channels and then is spitting that information out via the auto mix output on next two. And that auto mix is being sent to the USB-C for your conferencing codec. It's being sent to your Dante outputs if you want to route them through your Dante outputs. And it's also being sent through the uh, analog outputs as well. So the, the overall routing or patching of it is really pretty simple and is only a couple of Dante subscriptions in Dante Controller. All right, very cool. Aaron, um, I appreciate it. Um, if somebody wants to find out more about Sure or obviously the, the MXW next to you, how do they do that? Uh, you can visit uh, www.sure.com uh, or you can also get in touch with me if you so choose. Uh, I am... Uh, N-I-E-M-A-N-A -E -A -A at sure.com. You know, make it easy. <laughs> but uh, we'll have Mitchell put a, put a link on, on, on this episode's page. Uh, Aaron Neiman, thank you so much uh, from Sure uh, For us, for Aviation, go by our website, avianation.tv. That's avianation.tv. Find programs like this and a host of others. All that and more at avianation.tv. That's avianation.tv the network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is AV Nation. This is AV Nation.